Why not? I'm here at High Fidelity Services, and this is what we're going to look at next. So here we have the whole fact sheet of the system that we're going to see here, touch and feel. Show us what you have at Rocky Mountain. I would be happy to. Okay. Well, we have uh, two rooms this year. Mm -hmm. uh, here in, in 423, we are uh, presenting Audio Electronics. We're presenting the Ultimatum line of Neat Acoustics and uh, uh, custom design racks and stands. But uh, the real magic today is the U.S. debut of the Strumento series, Audio Flight Electronics. Let's go take a look at it. Okay. So we have on the right, we have uh, uh, the Strumento number four, which is their new uh, reference series uh, amplifier, 200 watts per channel uh, into eight ohms, uh, as much as 1600 watts per channel into one ohm load. So it's quite a beast, about a 28 amp draw at full uh, full output. Now is that full class A or? Uh, it's it's or actually a class it? AB. It's a class AB bias? So, yeah, okay. so we don't have the heat issues. That's good. Mm -hmm. class A, mm -hmm. and uh, it's quite manageable. The matching preamp, which is the Strumento number one, and the Strumento one is unique in that it also has capacity for two, two uh, auxiliary boards, one for an MC MM phono input, and a second board capacity for a digital DAC. Okay. Both reference level components. Mm -hmm. And then we also have out of Audius Classic Series, we have the CD1M, which is uh, approximately uh, $7,500. This has been around for several years, but now in its newest incar incarnation, has a built-in DAC with digital inputs, so one could run their computer uh, audio system through this as well. Um, above that, we have the Audio FL Phono, which is an exceptionally well-reviewed piece. Uh, it's a two-input phono stage, solid state, um, separate power supply. I see. And we're feeding that through a, a VPI Classic form for two arms uh, with a Lyra Cleos on the 12-inch arm and a uh, uh, Shoy Benz LP slash Ruby uh, cartridge on the 10 and a half inch arm. Yeah, I think that's a that's a newer cartridge for Benz, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Yeah. It is. It's custom made for Shoy analog. Okay. And uh, we have a relationship with them, so uh, quite a nice cartridge. Very similar to the LP. Mm -hmm. And then the the final piece here is also out of the classic series from Audio. This is their integrated, their higher level integrated amp. Uh, retails for approximately $5,100, 100 watts per channel, and uh, quite a versatile, robust piece as well. Are you going to be rotating that in and out of the system over we the will. weekend? We Very will. Very good. Yes. Yep. Good. And how about let's finish off with these beautiful okay. loudspeakers. And these are uh, Neat Acoustics uh, flagship Ultimatum Series piece. They are XL10s is the model number. These are in a uh, what we call a velvet cloud finish, which is one of their premium finishes. It's uh, an isobarically loaded, believe it or not, two and a half way speaker design. Mm -hmm. uh, there are actually additional drivers, isobarically loaded in ports behind the top and bottom drivers. Two super tweeters on top. These are a mid oh, look at super that. tweeters on top. Firing up. And they fire up, uh, they cut in at about 13,000 hertz. Um, and are really primary purpose is just for ambience and for air. Mm -hmm. It's not for frequency extension. Mm -hmm. So, and then C's uh, drivers and... Uh, Gosh, and the gorgeous uh, fit the finish too. Yeah, no, yeah. They, are, they are really special. Yeah. Um, and actually quite reasonable for what they are at uh, approximately $31,000. Yeah, that's a beautiful speaker for that price. Well, okay. I want to thank you very much for the system walkthrough. Well, it was my pleasure. Yeah, thank very, very much. good. It's Paul from High Fidelity Services. Thank you very much, Paul. My pleasure. Okay, thank you. Thank you.